Hi, my name is Callie Swicky. I'm a research assistant in the Nutrition Epidemiology Department at Tufts University. Today I'm presenting my poster, Evidence Mapping, Resistant Starch Interventions and Health Outcomes. Evidence mapping is a relatively new method used to visualize the landscape of research on a particular topic. It is particularly useful in rapidly growing areas of interest and can be used to identify research gaps, formulate new hypotheses, or be used as a platform for systematic reviews or a meta-analysis. This evidence map was created using a larger database developed by our group at Tufts University with the support of ILSI, which currently details over 900 publications on dietary fiber interventions and a variety of health outcomes. From this database, we identified 57 publications which specifically look at resistant starch. There are four types of resistant starch. Type 1 is physically inaccessible. Type 2 is native starch granules. Type 3 is retrograded starch. And type 4 is chemically modified starch. Summarizing the data from these papers, we found that the most frequently studied outcomes were postprandial glycemia and insulinemia, and also clonic fermentation and short-chain fatty acid production. Less frequently studied were blood lipids and weight or adiposity. We also found that most frequently studied were resistant starch type 2 and type 3, whereas resistant starch type 4, the chemically modified form, was less frequently studied. And this might be because it's a more recent area of research. Overall, this evidence map allowed us to efficiently identify and characterize resistant starch literature, and we hope that this project could be used by researchers to develop a meta-analysis or systematic review.